Bitcoin and altcoins crash this weekend with tension in the Middle East. Hong Kong has approved spot ETFs, and the Solana Network is finally back. This is your Altcoin Buzz News. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when drop latest content. Follow us on Twitter, AltcoinBuzz.io, and as always, it's not financial advice, and we wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. And so if this market pulls back hard under this level and then consolidates and comes back, we're likely to sell and stall. Bitcoin starts a new week with an uphill struggle to regain lost ground after a 15% price dip. Sensitivity to geopolitics thus forms a key focus for the coming week, with commentators comparing recent events in the Middle East to the COVID-19 cross-market crash of 2020. So far, all coins have dumped the most, with the market reaction to hostilities between Israel and Iran, with Bitcoin managing to preserve the $60,000 support. Leverage nonetheless saw a comprehensive flush, and even on Bitcoin, 30% of open interest disappeared in an instant. It can safely be said that this weekend produced a crypto market nightmare, unlike many seen before. As news of fresh geopolitical instability in the Middle East emerged, crypto as one of the only free trading markets open 24-7 saw immediate losses. Similar to events in Ukraine in early 2022, Bitcoin and altcoin sold off rapidly. The tension surrounding the looming Iran-Israel conflict exacerbated the market drop. This resulted in massive liquidations across the market, with over $860 million flush from the derivatives market. Iran eventually fired over 100 drones towards Israel on April 13th, further escalating the tension. Following this attack, the crypto market saw a steeper decline, with Bitcoin dropping to a one-month low of 60660 on April 13th. All coins, however, fared much worse, some losing 50% of their value before joining Bitcoin in what is so far a slow grind back up. While the extent of the move caught some by surprise, analyst Matthew Hyland suggested that in hindsight, the signs of a flash correction were already present, saying overall Bitcoin still basically consolidated at all-time highs, all it's punished, but I think it was to rid the market of over leverage and weaker hands. While it remains to be seen how the United States spot Bitcoin ETFs will respond to the weekend's volatility, good news starts the week elsewhere. Regulators in Hong Kong have approved Bitcoin and Ether ETFs for trading. Whale Panda wrote on X, more ETFs, China has easier access to it through Hong Kong this way, very bullish. Operators, including China Asset Management, Harvest Global Investments, and Bocera Asset Management, will be launching spot crypto products. The move comes at a time when the United States ETFs are facing a broad slowdown in inflows after a rapid acceleration in March, accompanied by the ascent of Bitcoin's price to all-time highs. The U.S. products nonetheless remain the most successful ETF launches in history, with the two largest offerings from BlackRock and Fidelity Investments seeing net inflows every day since their debut. Solana's validator client team Anza released a proposed congestion fix on DevNet and asked testnet validators to implement and assist in analyzing its effectiveness. Anza, the developer of one of Solana's Agave validator clients, urged Solana testnet validators to quickly adopt the new version. This step is essential for the team to evaluate the release, allowing for necessary adjustments before the update is implemented on the mainnet. Recently, Solana has experienced significant congestion linked to spam transactions. Such congestion has led to slower transaction processing and higher transaction drop rates, impacting the overall user experience. Solana's unique architecture, which processes transactions directly without a mempool, is another factor at play. The developers are working on multiple solutions to tackle the matter. Phantom, Solana's most widely used wallet, noted that transaction success rate has improved a lot recently ahead of the patch. The project stated its metrics showed that transactions were successful nearly 90% of the time, which is almost a five-fold improvement from a week ago. Solana's open interest and its price have declined in the past 48 hours, mirroring a broader decline across the cryptocurrency market. However, traders are remaining optimistic, viewing it as a good opportunity. On April 14th, open interest on Solana stood at $1.62 billion, about 21% down from the previous day. Open interest measures the total value of all outstanding or unsettled Solana futures contracts across exchanges. The sudden drop in Solana's price erased $36.5 million worth of traders' long positions, potentially disappointing those anticipating a price spike leading up into the Bitcoin halving on April 20th. The market-wide price decline prompted prominent trader GCR Classic to break their silence on X after over a year. He wrote, if you've been sidelined, believe this is a good opportunity to scale into high conviction tokens. If you're fully invested, just survive. Hold your spot positions and do not capitulate. Someone once said, liquidations are a forced transfer of wealth from traders who need leverage to wealthy spot buyers. I was enjoying retirement from social media, but don't want to see my brothers get shaken out when the future is still so bright. 
Our partners at SUI have their first native non-wrapped stablecoin coming to the blockchain in the form of FDUSD, a popular USD-backed stablecoin currently available on Ethereum and the BNB chain. Digital Labs is introducing the token to the broader blockchain industry with its debut on SUI. Digital Labs backs FDUSD on a one-to-one -one basis with the US dollar. It maintains reserves in Asian banks and US Treasury debt to support the token. SUI's native token, SUI, used to pay gas fees and staking on validators, serves as a fundamental cryptocurrency on the network. Projects and DeFi protocols on the network create their own tokens for various purposes, including commerce within a game world and liquid staking. Stable coins such as FDUSD serve as a vital component of SUI's cryptocurrency ecosystem, appealing to users seeking a reliable store of value. They bridge the traditional financial world with its generally trustworthy notions of value and cryptocurrency, which offers technical security. On SUI, FDUSD will offer people a non-volatile cryptocurrency option. Check out SUI with the link down below. Binance Labs backed project Playbucks has just announced its token is set to launch on the Bybit launchpad this April 23rd. Playbucks is a metaverse that is especially big on mobile platforms in Asia. With an array of services such as Shop to Earn, Walk to Earn, Watch to Earn, and Play to Earn, Playbucks is dedicated to facilitating user earnings through its innovative affiliate and marketing programs. They wrote on X, exciting news alert, Playbucks token is set to launch on our latest launchpad project. Their token P-Bucks is set at a price of 7.5 cents. The total allocated amount to the Bybit launchpad is 4 million P-Bucks tokens. The snapshot period is between April 18th and April 22nd, with the token going live on April 23rd. Despite the broader market turbulence, Ton Coin's native cryptocurrency Ton bounced back quickly, gaining 18% and hitting new highs of $7. Amid this recent bounce back, Ton Coin is now the eighth largest cryptocurrency by market cap, surpassing Dogecoin, with this market cap now over $24 billion. Ton's price has maintained considerable momentum since March, catching the attention of experts who view it as one of the cryptocurrencies to monitor closely in the forthcoming weeks. To put it into perspective, Ton has surged about 35% in the last week and an impressive 136% over the past month. Moreover, Ton Coin's trading volume is witnessing a notable increase, surging by over 300% on an average day-to-day -day basis over the past week. On the technical chart, the Ton Coin price has been rising in an ascending channel pattern, which suggests that bulls have continued to buy the dips. On April 12th and 13th, the bears managed to pull the price below the channel. However, the presence of long tails on the candlesticks indicates robust buying activity near the support line. This inability to maintain lower levels likely enticed buyers, who are now striving to drive the price towards the resistance line at $7.50, which could trigger a rally further to $10. Both moving averages are trending upwards, and the RSI remains in the positive zone, indicating that buyers currently have the upper hand. However, this optimistic outlook could be invalidated if the Ton pair experiences a sharp downturn and closes below the support line. Such a scenario could trigger a decline towards the 50-day SMA at $4.28. The major thrust in the Ton coin price comes as messaging app Telegram plans to go public with the talks of an IPO around the corner. Last month in March, Telegram CEO Pavel Durov revealed that the company received offers worth $30 billion. Furthermore, Telegram also plans to launch advertisements in the app's channel and reward the channel owners in Toncoin. 